Hello and welcome to my tutorial about Chaos Destruction System. Today we are going to talk mostly about landscape, but uh, we'll start with something else. So I have created a repository with uh, everything I do in the in the tutorial series, so you can download it and play with it and test something. And there are even branches for. Uh, geometry collection settings, uh, fragmentation types, so you can uh, you can really play around with everything I, I show you. Uh, you can use tags, I, I will create tags for each tutorial, so you can easily just go to tag and then delete a zip file or something, or, or just clone the repository, or you can even fork it. Uh, so I encourage you to, to play with it. Uh, another thing is that I someone asked about Discord server and I thought it's gonna be a good idea to uh, start some community. So uh, I ask you to join here uh, if you want. Uh, we will exchange uh, some ideas, tips and tricks, uh, help each other and showcase our cool distractions and just feel free to join it, it it's gonna be below uh, in the description below each uh, video in the in the series and yeah so let's start with the actual tutorial this is how our map looks like right now and uh, actually i forgot to do one thing in our bp push field that pushes our bullet uh, so um as the documentation says, and I also saw it in an epic tutorial one day, that uh, cooling fields is uh, it's it's recommended to use cooling fields on all the fields at the end. To it's something like a mask, you know. Like let's say that we want to make a, a force field uh, in in here. And it's gonna push our bullet or some or something or whatever. Uh, we want to affect only this space, only this 3D space, right? And you can imagine uh, cooling field like uh, like a mask that um, just masks the masks uh, the the force to some region of space. So it's it's no matter what the what the field is, it's gonna affect only only specific part of the space. So and as the documentation says, it's gonna maximize performance and prevent unwanted field leakage. So it's always recommended to use it. So that's what we will do right now. If we were to um, uh, to visualize our um, our field, which is very helpful, and I use it really often. Well, let's visualize our field. It looks like this, so it's even bigger than our sphere. If we uh, change the radius to like a thousand, and oh, actually. No, I want to visualize it, so let's change this sphere's radius to a thousand. Well, you don't have to do this. <laughs> to do this, I, I want just to show it to you. Uh, do you see how, how huge the sphere is? And it pushes walls. Oh, perfect. So that's why we want to cool our fields. <laughs> just in case and to maximize the performance. So let's go back to even something like 20 or 25 and uh, let's add cooling field. Cooling field and radial fall off also. Oh, I had cooling field. Let's set cooling field and choose our fall off. Oh, we can copy this and use this. And yeah. So this is our cooling field. Uh, and this is our 
input field for the cooling field actually. So it's just it's just a mask for our field, for our force. It's 3D mask. You can imagine it like a 3D mask. Oh, perfect. <laughs> and that's because we have inside. So it's gonna mask everything outside of the sphere. And we usually use outside. <laughs> I don't know why inside is default. It doesn't make sense, but yeah. Okay. So now it's good and optimized. Perfect. Yeah. And so now we can focus on creating a fully featured level for our game. So let's go to content browser, make a folder for maps and in starter content there is a minimal default map actually so we can use it as a start point call it let's call it desert map it's gonna be desert as you can guess probably probably and we will use landscape so remove everything and 31 by 31 should be totally enough for our little level and yeah position zero now let's create it um, and I will firstly I will apply a texture to it some material and maybe sand yeah it's not bad we can always change it later so um, I will make some hills uh, on the edges <laughs> just like in in old school games so the player cannot see <laughs> the end of the world <laughs> from the center <laughs> yeah it's just to show chaos, not to make anything too fancy. Ah, fancy is nice. Mm -hmm. Maybe some more. It's too boring. Yeah. A little bit smaller. And it's I think it's enough right now. Let's see how it works. Um but firstly we need to move player start a little bit up because it's underground well there is a nice trick uh, you can move something above uh, anything else and press end key to place it on the on the object uh, on the object below yeah let's remove the audio and I think it's nice for uh, we're at three minutes of work and it's enough for our purposes so uh, let's place our gun here oh this camera is too fast okay uh, let's go to content browser and place our oh our gun here perfect a little bit up, a little bit closer, and perfect. Okay, uh, let's place a few test things to to our map. Um, yeah. Oh, but blueprint, blueprints, of course. I mean blueprints, yeah.
So, yeah, it's just for a test and everything works great. And if you want to see my damage threshold values, it's something like this. 100,000 and here 200,000 and it's just make sure that it does not intersect with landscape. And it's not too high because it will break because of falling down. <laughs> And yeah. So our landscape is working, but I will show you also an alternate approach that I have to use uh, in the game, in, in one of the games uh, that I have created. Um, because in, in Unreal 4.25, landscape didn't work at all in Chaos, and in ha Chaos uh, in Unreal 4.26 it worked, but it was so slow that I had to uh, to do one trick actually to to make uh, collisions with the ground, and it's still not perfect as you can see, but uh, it's at least more or less working. <laughs> um, so the thing I've done, it's uh, I have converted my landscape that is huge to, to a static mesh, uh, exported it to another program, uh, cut a small fragment out of it. So it's just uh, so it's just uh, it's just this piece. It's just this piece, and uh, I turned off collision in here to. Uh, in, in landscape to not work with chaos objects and I have turned on collision in uh, in the static mesh landscape that I later converted to geometric collection object and collision is only on this fragment but player is allowed only to walk uh, in here so I don't care well, I have to say that it worked pretty well and it was definitely faster than uh, landscape in Unreal 4.26 with Chaos. So, uh, well, I don't know if it's gonna be useful for you or not, but you might try uh, such a thing if you have problems with landscape collision. Anyway, quickly moving objects always have uh, problems with collisions and in, with landscape it's even more visible because even now if you look closely if we shoot uh, as you can see some of the some of the fragments uh, fell under the under the landscape and there is no not really much we can do because if we go to chaos if we don't go to chaos, uh, chaos settings, change uh, all these iterations to crazy values, and uh, even if we change here collision thickness to a hundred, uh, it doesn't really change much. It doesn't really change much, uh, and still some of the parts will be. Will be falling be, um, under the under the the landscape, even though it should work right now. Um, well, but it's always such a problem with quickly moving fragments in any engine, any physics engine. So if you go to project settings and look for delta and well, I believe default value is something like this, which is 30 pr frames per second. Well, if you go to a crazy value like one, you'll see that our bullets are a, li a little bit faster, but the collisions are even worse, like more and more fragments are falling. A lot of fragments is falling. Of course, if you shoot like this, then <laughs> it will spawn be behind the, the landscape, but it should not like lose too many fragments, uh, right? And if you lower this value to something like zero, 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 one, then they're moving. <laughs> they're moving slower, but uh, the collisions are really much better.
So that's the thing and well, I'll set this and delta value to something like this, which is like 60 FPS. So if FPS drops below 60 physics, physics will slow down because it won't drop below 60 FPS. And uh, when it comes to all these iterations, I'll just uh, leave default values for now. And uh, we can uh, we can lower uh, our speed a little bit. Yeah, two thousand speed of our bullets uh, a little bit. Uh, I think it's fine. And yeah, let's leave it like this. There is one optimization related to, th to this and it's a kill field and that just removes all the pieces that collide with it. So we can place it under the landscape so all the fragments that go uh, through the landscape and go below it we can uh, kill it so they won't affect performance and slow down our game. And we will do it in upcoming tutorials. <coughs> Well, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. And if you like the video and want future tutorials coming soon, then please subscribe, comment, like, and join our Discord, fork our repository, like mine. <laughs> and have a nice week. Bye.